Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Louise Collin. And I'm George Spain. We hope you'll enjoy these poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Timeless Dance by Vera Jarre. From me, how these verses flow free as a river. I do not know, but I feel the duty's mine to share God's grace thus shine from the one who maketh thine atom's core and danceth within, but extends beyond the galactic spins to timeless stillness that sustains from him created you and me, thus taketh form in visible space but at heart ticking is his grace to dance in joyful life with peace. This is a sonnet that I wrote several years ago. Silence by me. If I can find a silence in my soul, a gray retreat beyond the angry press of tinkling cymbals, I'll remold me whole. I'll build a bulwark from this listlessness and learn again to care if one weak child in Africa must beg for bread and die. Again, that brave anachronistic wild last fight in China Square will make me cry. But I'm filled with bright and noisy shards of sound and sight. They dull my empathy. No screams but mine crush through that shroud which guards my soul and kills the self I want to be. I'll waste my days a doll unless I find a silent place to clarify my mind. Well, this is the most serious poem I ever wrote. It's called Toes. Almost every night your toes leave your feet. They jump from the bed to the floor and meet other toes to run, to jump, and to play all through the night till the next light of day. When they hurry to climb back onto the bed and onto your feet and not on your head, big toe on one side, little on the other, three in the middle, in the right order, but when you awake, check each one with care so your fathers aren't there covered with hair. Salt Hill Sunrise by Catherine Moore. Dark of the morning giving way to murky dimness in soft illuminations. Clouds shroud the wide inlet of sea the huge gray of a tanker cuts through distant fog, beginning to loom larger than long-range mountains. There is a briskness now in my demeanor, dancing in labyrinth things, pubs through the eve, prom promenading the salt hill stand before the morn, up with the rooster, down with the nightingale. Fishing boats chugging through the early tide Dolmen churned up in their wake, parallel robster boats out of Rockland or shrimp boats leaving Carabell, variant song, same verse. I pause to watch a pelican take his chilly plunge. Seabirds glide with ease on Galway gales, then drop. I remove my cap, let the wind play freely with my hair. I listen for the insistent fiddles, the wandering pipes, Dawn's pouring down like honey through broken clouds, and the sound of a church bell echoes across a happy bay. At the radio of drums, I stretch my arms to sail in crisp breeze. I feel the smile before I see. Amused blue eyes met mine, and he passes by to peel off his clothing and to dive in the icy waters. It is swift, sensing the time to plunge. The maid on the shore throws her song past my wild throat, 
and Galway Bay swallows all the lilting sounds. This poem is by my fellow reader, Louise. Haiku. Shadow of a fence, creating an artist print for just one moment. This is Beggar's Might by Susie Margaret Ross. The first time she left, she begged him to fight for her. But the second time, she begged him to let her go. He did. He loved her that much. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon. Mm -hmm.